Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC Store. You've seen a lot of our videos on YouTube about drone tutorials, reviews, and other how-tos, uh, helping you out with DJI and a bunch of other products. But today, we're gonna do a video review of the TR1 by Boss Cam. It's an all-in-one transmitter camera, a VTX, that will send the signal back to your monitor or your goggles. Guys that are looking for something that's an all-in-one package, Everything is crammed into this one little tiny frame of this camera. Your transmitter, sending your video signal back to your goggles or your monitor, your onboard recorder, so you can record the video in HD up to 1440, which is around five megapixels. So uh, for around $80, this is available on gearbest.com. The guys at Gearbest were nice enough to send us this over to play with it, check out the specs, and let you guys know what we think. So we're gonna give you an honest review of the Boss Cam TR1. We're gonna put it on a quadcopter, and we're gonna put it on a fixed wing. We're gonna fly it around the park, and we're gonna show you what the video footage looks like. Um, the greatest thing about this, I've gotta say personally, I like that I can add a mini SD card in this. I can record my videos. There's a little button on the very bottom. You switch it over, and it starts recording. You turn it off, and it goes to playback. So very nice all-in-one camera combo transmitter, all-in-one box. Just put it on your racer quad. Uh, airplane, fixed wing, whatever you want to put this on, it's compatible uh, at 5.8 gigahertz with whatever your your video receiver transmitter is, um, your, your FPV gear. So you won't need a lot of extra equipment. Like on these racer quads, normally we have the camera and the VTX in the back and another antenna on the back here. Uh, this one will simply go on with the included antenna here or you can add a helical on the, on the antenna itself. So this eliminates a lot of extra wiring up inside the quad that you just uh, can plug this in and go. It's really, really nice. So the average price on it right now is around $75 to $80. On Gearbest below, you can see the, the link to this product in the details. So let's go ahead and open up the box. We'll show you what's in the box. We'll show you some of the specs and we'll show you some flight footage right after this. Okay guys, let's go ahead and break into this box. This is the all-in-one Boss Cam TR1 camera and transmitter. It has 1440 by 1080 at 30 frames per second. So pretty nice. The field of view on there is 120 degrees and it's a 200 milliwatt transmitter. Transmitting frequency is 5.8 gigahertz, which is pretty standard for the FPV racing guys out there uh, and guys who are flying FPV on fixed wing. Now this is the contents. It shows you how to get started really quickly. It shows you how to switch between your different channels if you need to. Um, right away, one of the cool things about this, pull this camera out and transmitter all in one. Right on the back right here, it shows you, I don't know if you can see this up close, but it actually has the, the channels marked on here. This is a 32 channel transmitter and receiver um, or transmitter and camera lens cap off and down at the very bottom you'll see that the camera has a switch here and this switches the camera on so it's recording to the right and back to the left to turn it off so pretty simple it also has mounting bolts on the side this is your SMA um, antenna plug right there and on the very top we have USB so you can hook it straight up to your computer if you don't want to um, pop the mini SD card out uh, or also probably for firmware updates for the USB. And then over on the side over here, this is the mini USD, uh, mini SD card uh, port. So we can put up to about a 64 gigabyte card in this guy. Um, nice thing is get done recording your videos, pop this out and put it in your computer and download your videos. Also included in the box, we have a power cable. This plugs into the very bottom of the unit if it'll stand up like this and you want to have some kind of clearance for this wire coming off the bottom. This is the power cable here, extra ground and video cable here, the red and, or excuse me, the yellow and black. Now, if you were to wire this straight into um, your, your copter, you could always snip this JST off and wire it straight in through the power. 
source on your copter if you didn't want to uh, to have to use an external battery but this is also nice because guys that are flying fixed wing if you just want to pop this right on the airplane wing and go flying like we can show you some footage here now of that flying um, from our fixed wing looks pretty nice actually up in the air uh, we, we just put it on the wing with some velcro we didn't do anything fancy and it actually came out with really really nice footage and we did some fpv with it as well with our fat shark dominator goggles super cool and very easy the nicest thing about this is that how easy this is that it's all in one um, with that so it also comes with in the box we already took that out of the box earlier it comes with a little antenna uh, as well a 5.8 gigahertz antenna that will screw right onto the side and flip up while you're flying um, so if you want to get a better signal i recommend using the helical antennas um, for this if you can get a helical antenna you can also get those on gearbest.com as well and ours came with a usb cable as well for hooking up to this it's a standard gopro style cable same kind that goes on the gopro uh, another power source if you want to run this into your receiver so we'll go ahead and put all this back in there and on the outro let's go ahead and show you some of the footage So thanks again for watching guys. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps. So I hope you enjoyed the video review, quick video review of the Boss Cam TR1 all-in-one. Um, super cool, we can add it on anything. We can add it on our quads, on our fixed wing. It's, it's definitely worth the money. If you want something that's quick, plug and play, all in one, the TR1 is definitely the one to grab. I mean, you could take this and put it on a remote control car uh, or anything you have laying around that's RC boat, whatever, FPV at all with the TR1. So check out the link below. I'm Justin Davis again from Drone Camps. Thanks for watching.